award goes to Siemens Pakistan Engineering Company Limited. And I request Mr. Ali Javed Hamadani, the CEO of the company, to please come forward and receive the award. Yes, it was a hat-trick chance for Simmons and they have done it. They have been first in 2008, 9 and this, town, this time round also. And Mr. Hamdani, I would request you to say a few words about the program or about the success. Or You two, you have uh, now achieved double. Right, right. <laughs> please. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, it's just been six weeks that I've landed in the country. So it's a pleasure to get an award on behalf of my team. I think the thanks and the appreciation basically goes to my CFO, Murtaza, sitting here, my chief accountant, Mohammed Rafi, my HR guys, my business development and operations people. I really enjoyed your uh, presentation on sustainability. That is something that we live for. That is something that's uh, one of our core responsibilities. So it will be a pleasure to particip participate in that next year. So thank you all of you. Good luck. While Foji and uh, Angro were receiving the awards, I, I was just reminded of uh, uh, of a proverb, an old one, it, it said that grass is always green on the other side of the fence. And uh, I was just thinking that if the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, it may be because of the fertilizer they're using perhaps. <laughs> Uh, the next award in the category goes to Crescent Steel and Light Products Limited. No applause, no friends, of course. And I request Mr. Mohammad Saad Hananias, CFO of the company, to receive the award. Crescent Steel has maintained its position. They have been second for the runners up for the last three years now. Well done, Thranisa. Try to be the first next year. <laughs> so, the third award in the category goes to Pakistan Cables Limited. And I request Mr. Aslam Sadruddin, Finance Director, to please receive the award. Pakistan Cable has done well. They were fifth last time. So they have improved their position from fifth to at least third. Fourth company in this category to receive award is a very consistent one. They were the they, they secured fourth position last year, and even this time round they are no exception. Al Ghazi Tractors Limited. I request Ms. Sabika Muzammil, the company secretary, to please receive the award. They made a debut, I believe, in the last year, in 2009. Uh, before that, they were not in the top five, as per my um, uh, understanding. But well done. That's a breakthrough. That's a breakthrough. Fifth and last position in the engineering sector goes to International Industries Limited and I request Mr. Asad Azhar Siddiqui, CFO of the company, to receive the award. Please. This company is also showing a mixed trend. They have been the runners up two years, 2006 and 7, and uh, last two years they were third. This year round they have managed to secure only the fifth position.
The next category is fuel and energy and uh, the first prize in this category goes to none other than Pakistan Petroleum Limited. I request Mr. Asim M. Khan, MD and CEO to please come forward and receive the award. PPL was, uh, it's a hat trick now. They were first in 2008, 9, and this year round, they have again secured the top position. Well done, PPL. I think next year PPL will give a will, will give a tough competition to Fauci Fertilizer in securing the overall first position. Congratulations, sir. Uh, could you mind saying a few words about the ceremony or the award? Bismillah Rahman Rahim. First of all, my compliments to the joint committee of the ICAP and uh, ICMAP uh, on organizing this excellent uh, uh, event every year. Uh, PPL uh, has uh, strived very hard to be where we are today and the credit really goes to our uh, finance team Mr. Kamran Wahab sitting here, CFO, and Khalid Rahman Saab, who has always been uh, an inspiration to go for excellence and to, uh, to go for the best possible disclosures and transparency in the annual reports. Uh, we will not stop here. As we were coming in together into this event, uh, Mr. Khalid mentioned about the sustainability and the, the uh, challenges ahead uh, of us to participate. But it's not just reporting. Our motto is to actually do things in spirit and not just report and get awards and certificates. So we will do our modest part in reporting, but behind that we will actually be working for the disclosures, transparency and sustainability. That's our commitment to this nation and to ourselves. Thank you once again for, for, this, uh, for this privilege uh, to us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Asim Khan. Uh, the second prize in this category goes to Pakistan State Oils Limited and I request my friend Yaqub Sattar, ED Finance, to please receive the award. They have also done well. Last year they were, they were fourth. This year round they have managed runners up. So pretty good going for PSO. Hope the circular issue resolvement may, may help them achieve even, even higher award this year. Third position in this category of fuel and energy goes to Oil and Gas Development Company Limited. And I request somebody here, Mr. Mohammad Rafi, the CFO, to just step up and receive the award. So that was quick. Uh, OGDC secured third position last year and they maintained their position this year as well. Fourth position in this category of fuel and energy goes to Sui Northern Gas Pipelines Limited. And I request Mr. Imtiaz Mahmood, Deputy Company Secretary, to please come forward and receive the award. And this is perhaps uh, the very first time that uh, the, any of the Sui, twin Sui companies is receiving the award. It may be because of the delay in the publication of their accounts because OGRA at least I think takes about 21 days to clear their accounts or what not. And the fatal and the vital three points they miss each year. <laughs> the last in this category goes to uh, the fifth position, Pakistan Oil Fields Limited. And I request Sayyid Khalid Nafis Siddiqui, the CFO of the company.